All right. BC, what's up, man? What's going on, man? How, How you are doing? you, dude? Hey, good. I'm good. All right. Good to see you. Billy Ray and I have a, an ongoing debate here okay. about your game. Here's the way it goes. Okay, when we're watching the game, you get the ball, and here's what I say. I say, shoot it! Shoot it! <laughs> and I say, no! Oh, man. <laughs> here's why. Here's why. I have noticed, Brian Carwell, you tell me if I'm right on on this. Okay. You have gotten in much, much more aggressive in the paint dunking the ball. I mean, I've seen you in games past and in, in last season go up, maybe not with the aggression. All of a sudden in the last three, four, five weeks, you are you're you're a mean Brian Carwell <laughs> in that paint. You are dunking on people's faces. You are playing with a dunking ton of emotion. It's awesome. Oh, Am yeah. I I mean right you've yeah, been you, just more you, aggressive. You, Why? It's fun that way. It's a lot more fun that way, just going up and, and just feeling the contact, you know, and feeling people just trying to stop you and and then getting the satisfaction knowing that they can't. So I just decided to turn it up another level, yeah. and um, everybody seems to enjoy that a lot more. It was, it was Coach Fisher maybe a part of that? I mean, does he, does he kind of watch the way you play and say, you know, you're a pretty big fella. You could probably intimidate some of these guys if you really went up there and played that way. You know, I, I, really, I really don't have an explanation for what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. Um, I went home over the break, over winter break. Where is home for you? Chicago. Okay. Chicago Ooh. is home. And I uh, came back, and I've I just been jumping ever since. And even my teammates, like the first two days of practice, back from break, they go, you're a lot more bouncy when you left. Like maybe it's the Chicago <laughs> area, so your lungs now. Well, I, I think this. I mean, in watching you, f first of all, let's just get the story. You coming out of high school, mm -hmm. you went to Illinois, right? Yeah. And then how did you transfer to here? I mean, you, when you decided to leave Illinois, why San Diego State? Well, just because um, I'm not sure if you guys remember a guy by the name of uh, Quentin Watkins. He ended up transferring here for like maybe a second semester of uh, 2008, 2009, sometime around okay. there. All right. And uh, he actually went to Illinois for summer school, um, but he, he ended up not being able to get in or whatever. But uh, he came here and he just told me about the coaches and, you know, the style of play. And uh, I just looked into it and, you know, we kind of uh, linked up, uh, myself and uh, Coach Justin Hudson. And, you know, they, they pitched to me, you know, who was going to be here, the style they like to play and what they had planned. And I said, you know, that sounds like the perfect fit for me. Uh, so I looked at the school, came out for a visit, and um, I was sold yeah. as soon as I came out. And, and it's not like, I mean, at a school like Illinois, Big Ten school, that that you wouldn't have uh, an idea of who Steve Fisher is. I mean, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I mean the guy was a legend in the Big Ten, right? Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Everybody knows who, who he is across the country. You know, he, he put together possibly the greatest starting lineup in college basketball ever, so right. you have to know who he is. Right on. We're talking to senior center Brian Carwell. So, 6'11"? 6'11". Three and change? Two. Dude, three. I, I, I was. I was up to three. Okay, I was because here's the, the thing. Time. Because when we talk about you being more aggressive around the basket, more <laughs> bouncy, and, and blocking shots, and, and dunking the basketball, um, you have lost a lot of weight. You've yeah. gotten yourself. I mean, I've been to these practices and seen how you guys work. Mm -hmm. um, you have just, you've done a, an amazing job of changing your body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, at, at first, you know, I, I was kind of down about things and like, oh, maybe I'm not going to play, maybe I'm not going to play. But then I just realized, like, first off, I will never play if my body is not better. Um, so I made that commitment to get my body better. And then I started thinking about my future, you know. If, if I want to go somewhere with basketball past college, I have to do a better job of changing myself around and just transforming myself and just working to, to become a better me. So I definitely put a lot of work into that. Boy, uh, you, you're looking great out there. The uh, you, dude, you're looking great. Uh, well, we have a question about uniforms. You like to wear oh, come the, on. the, the long thing. sleeve yeah. shirt underneath the, the jersey. Yeah. Talk to us about that. Uh, well, at first, you know, it was just um, just a matter of keeping different people's sweat off me. You know, you, <laughs> you know, you're a germaphobe. Very funny. You're a germaphobe. I, I, w I wouldn't go that far, but I, it, it gets disgusting at a point in time. You just have these different people from the opposing team just wow. rubbing against you. And then, um, you know, after a while, it just became a look. You know, it's, I think it's an intimidation factor. I look at some pictures yeah. when I walk around the sleeve, and everything just looks way more cut. And it's, I like it better that way. Yeah. Well, and also, after you lose the weight... Honestly, I mean, when you put the T-shirt on, it's like you're gaining 10 pounds. I mean, it makes you look a little bit bigger yeah. after you've lost all that weight, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, and it feels good, too, man. It's comfortable, you know. Well, it's people aren't rubbing warm. all up yeah. together. Yeah, 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 you know, it just keeps everything together. Yeah, I know, I know, I know Stop what you mean. Stop rubbing up on me. Yeah, get your <laughs> get yeah, away yeah, from me. Get away from me. That's why I like to shoot it from the outside. <laughs> there's, there's nothing worse 
<laughs> than playing with old guys. Oh, <laughs> shirts versus skins. Oh, oh my God. fat, sweaty yeah. old guys at JCCs who rub up on you. Disgusting. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. It's it's gotta, oh I can't imagine that. That's honestly. All right, so Brian Carwell is not only a student at San Diego State, not only one of the star senior players of the Aztec basketball team, ranked number six in the country. He's also an accomplished musician. <laughs> what, am I lying well, here? Why are you laughing? Uh, no, it, it just worry travels fast. I mean, you know? dude, <laughs> the, the, the song Black and Red is, yeah. is, I mean, I walk around all day like, Black and Red is, Black and Red is, Black and Red is, Yeah, and red is. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 What, what got you going with this? You know what it is. Um, just, just the love for my school and love for my team, you know. Uh, and I, I mean, I, I fell in love with music and it's just something I've, I'd like to do, and I said, uh, you know, why not make a, why not make a song for my school? And, uh, Turn this thing up. Let, let everybody hear BC and work. Have you have you sampled any of Coach Fisher and thrown it into the music? I would it love would to. Be so funny. I would love to. Oh, would that be great? Black and red is black and red is black and red is black and red. Black shoes, red shirt. They hit them ass that boys around. They be on high alert. Soon as we hit the town, look at them girls flirt. And they win again, that's what the news reports. I'm a champion, my ring is shining. You know the one from the tournament with all them diamonds. And I'm out to get another one. You try to knock me off my path, but trust me, son, they can't be done. Nope. Hit now, how, how does a college kid produce a tune like that? How does this work? Is this just like iTunes? You do it all on your laptop, then, yeah, brother. This, it's not like the old days. Right. I mean, what's the deal? Oh, yeah. You know, at first, um, when I started doing a couple songs, I just did it on my laptop, just recorded it on there. But uh, I actually have a, a good friend of mine who goes to school. Actually, a couple of good friends of mine. Um, you know, I, I decided to start, like, my own small record label. And, um, you know, we just put together pieces of equipment and, and one of my boys, he, he loves to try to, you know, mix things down and try to produce things. So we just go to his house and we start uh, laying tracks down and um, one thing leads to another and, and now we, uh, we're we getting pretty legit. What's the name of the label? What do you got? Uh, it's called Poe Me Entertainment. That stands for um, Product of My Environment Entertainment. Oh, Poe Me. Poe Me. I thought it meant like I'm Poe. <laughs> oh, <Nah>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> po po me. Po me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Product of My like Environment. Product of My Environment. BC, it is so much fun watching you play. Yeah. It, it's even more fun watching you at the beginning of a game, just getting your teammates hyped and getting everybody ready. You are the personality yeah. and, and the guy on this team that, seems to me as an outsider keeps it all together man it's, it's awesome congratulations thank you i appreciate it so and much don't forget now i'm the shoot it guy and he's the no guy <laughs> i <laughs> want to see you dunk he wants to see you shoot three well we'll see if we can get a little bit of both there we yeah. go now we're talking. Talking about. all right brian carwell stopping by on scott and vr Thanks, great talking to you coach steve fisher will join us next we are live at va house arena the lines are moving before you go the lines are moving kids are getting their tickets We've got three boxes right here, Brian. Okay. Box one, two, and three, as you can see, they're labeled. Uh-huh. One is small, two is a little bigger, three is a little bigger. Okay. We're going to see if we can get any of the students to give us their tickets that they've waited in line for all night, and they can have any of the three boxes they want. Do you think... No. Really? I don't think it's going to happen. I told him. It, it, that's <laughs> going to be hard, man. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to stand in line all dude, night? dude. There's some amazing things inside those boxes. Uh oh. I'll tell you one thing. I was um I came at about two o'clock this morning and I was here till from about two to four. Why? Just because. I just wanted to come out here and show them some love. All right. Um, by yourself? Yeah, I was came out by myself. And um, No security? No, I don't need security. <laughs> come on, dude. You need bodyguards. Don't I don't you? these guys will not let anything happen to me. <laughs> And uh, it, it was cold. That probably was the cold it's, it's been since I've been in San Diego. And these guys were out here just ready. So I, I doubt that the, any of them would give up their tickets for that box. I don't know. I don't know. There's three boxes. Uh, There's some really good stuff you, in after there. After they give away their tickets, pack up their stuff because they'll be, you know, pretty much off out of here. Yeah. After they do that. Yeah. You can't All give right. up the tickets like All that. All right. Let's see what happens. <laughs> can't do that. BC, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it, buddy. No problem. Anytime. All right.